don't think that is where you know i don't have a problem with uh, you know uh, bcci deciding to give chetan sharma the chairman of selectors ka kursi back that's their problem that their uh, this thing they think they couldn't find anybody with, uh, better than mr sharma uh, good good for him point is mr sharma can find the time to come out and speak with the media on how he spoke with virat kohli but mr sharma doesn't have the time to come and tell me why a certain player despite repeated performances being ignored at the test match level i'm telling you there are some great men individuals who have sat in these chairs in the past okay men of serious stature i have said this previously also uh, no less than a dilip bengsarkar no less than a krishnamachari shrikant no less than a sandeep patel no less than a chandu borde okay some really very very accomplished men have sat in these chairs but that does not mean that they were not answerable boss they were answerable from time you know whether it is a one day squad that used to be picked or you know i have seen questions being asked on a board president 11 game why did you pick this guy for a board president 11 game uh, you know right. in the preparation for a series right so the, the, the that used to be the level of scrutiny yeah it is right now this man he doesn't even he's not even answerable you know and uh, it's horrible the state of affairs then i you know recently this uh, cricket advisory committee was being put in place to appoint a new bunch of selectors i asked someone i said um, you yeah. know is, are you serious you going to consider chetan back for the chairman selectors after sacking the committee i mean like why did you sack the committee then you know what the guy told me you're like shrivas we need to get good applications no we are not getting good applications good for the role yeah right that is we are not getting are. good applications for the role you know why they were not getting good applications for the role even there there is a catch they were not getting good applications for the role because today the kind of salaries that you are paying at this level at the team india level even a franchise is paying that kind of salary no yeah i mean and the franchise is hiring you for 3 months 3 yeah. months 3 and a half months of the remaining whatever 8 months uh, you know 9 months of the year they just want you on a consultant basis right you are still employed with them they probably are going to consult with you from time to time but you are not physically required to be there at work you know across the year so on a pro rata arrangement just see what is the kind of salary that uh, individual and individual let's say of the stature of bharat arun okay yeah yeah a bharat arun is today you know he is what was his salary as a team india bowling coach and what was his salary as a kolkata knight riders uh, bowling coach right it's more or less the same but indian team it's a thankless job day in day out you got to sit answer to the media answer to the answer to the media and answer uncomfortable questions right whereas with kolkata riders is a franchise based sport you know three months in a year the action then you move into the you know the thing and then you work at the back end i'm not saying you don't but the point is you're not in the focus and in the eye of the media you know throughout the all year the right time, all the time yeah so when you are with the indian team it's a thankless job you know it obviously has a share of positives but it's also such a thankless job and if you have an opportunity why will you want to do it you want to move away from it so then i need to dangle a better carrot right yeah right i need absolutely. to put a better carrot and you know give something far more than what i'm offering for a big name for an accomplished name to come and look at this you know offer a 5 crore salary to the chief selector boss ravi shastri will say okay i'm taking a break i've seen enough of this indian team i know what the circuit is i can serve as a chairman of selectors i think yeah, i have right. it in me you know he will yeah. do it for that kind of money but if you're saying okay i'm going to pay 80 lakh or 1 crore why will ravi shastri bother with himself he can make you know twice thrice the money you're doing commentary there and by the yeah. way to each his own you can't blame individuals here and i don't believe in this whole honorary business right uh, yeah. if you are an accomplished individual you bring something to the table you have all the right to earn for it um so you know there are these basic things in indian cricket that need to change and uh, we, we, we let's tell our viewers that you know cricket next is going to uh, coming up with a youtube channel that is going to address all these uh, aspects of the game from an indian cricket standpoint very soon in a far detailed manner we're going to have a lot of fun that i can promise you Oh, 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 oh,